Today I am going to do a little solo day. I'm going to head to Chelsea in Manhattan and just spend like the afternoon there. There's a couple things on my agenda, the main one being that I'm stopping by one of my favorite fragrance brands and I'm going to be doing a little tour through their collection which I'm really excited about. But yeah, let's get ready for the day. If you saw me take off the thing on my forehead, those are frownies and they're basically like forehead patches that you put on. It's like a natural alternative to Botox. I've been experimenting with them for the last month and I actually really like them. I feel like they're really working. Um, I definitely see a big improvement. Um, at the beginning of the month, my lines on my forehead were getting a little bit deeper than they have been in the past, probably due to a combination of like stress, but then also like, like using the AC every day, I think has dried out my skin a bit. But yeah, I've been using them fairly consistently for like a month and they're pretty good. They're looking, you know, forehead's looking smoother than usual. So I'm excited. mentioned earlier I'm going to see one of my favorite fragrance brands and it's called The Maker and the brand is really interesting because there's a very strong travel tie-in so if I'm not mistaken the brand actually began with a hotel it's a hotel up in Hudson New York which um, <laughs> when you live in the city everything is considered upstate New York it's not really upstate it's like maybe an hour or two outside the city and it's like a boutique hotel very sort of like bohemian eclectic kind of a vibe and it was actually founded by Lev Glasman who is one of the founders behind Fresh Beauty um, you know they're the skincare brand that makes like cult favorites like the brown sugar scrub and the soy face cleanser that I've been using for like 20 years. So I guess after working on Fresh he wanted a different project, started the hotel, and then I guess somewhere along the line they decided to release fragrances as well. So I guess I'll be learning more about the brand today when I go to the store, but I have a few samples of their fragrances. Really really beautiful. Um, probably their big hit is called The Lover and that's a fig fragrance. You know I love <laughs> fig. As far as I'm concerned, you can never go wrong with fig. So I have their discovery set, but I think there's still some fragrances I haven't tried out yet. So I'm really excited to um, go check them out at the store. Okay, now that my face is done, hair is done, let's get dressed. All right, so I decided to go with this dress. So as the meme says, New York doesn't have four seasons, it has 15 seasons. And right now we're in the middle of false fall, where it's August, but the last few days it's been like feeling really cool and dry. The air is a little bit crisp. There's a nice breeze. And so as a New Yorker, you get really excited. Like, oh my God, fall came early. Don't be fooled guys. <laughs> a couple more days of this and the summer heat and humidity is gonna smack us in the face again. So it's not over, fall is not here yet, but I feel like this dress gives fall vibes. So I'm gonna take advantage of a couple days of fall's fall to wear this one. I wear my usual bracelet stack. And I'm gonna go with these earrings. I think they're really cute. They look like jade, but obviously they're not. They're like plastic or something. This one doesn't have a back. Let me grab one. Grab a back from another pair of earrings. It's cute, right? And then while it's false fall, it's still kind of warm. So I think I'm gonna wear sandals and I'm gonna go with these Tevas. These are the slim line ones. These are the newer ones. The straps are a little bit thinner than the, um, traditional ones. So they're still very comfortable, but uh, just a little bit of a more elevated look than the regular Tevas, which I love. They're really great for walking, but let's be real, not the most elegant <laughs> look. So these I feel like are a good kind of middle ground where they're still super comfortable, but they look a little bit, a little bit more elegant. So normally at this point, I would be picking a fragrance from my little fragrance stash. Um, but since I'm actually going to try fragrances today, I think it's best that I show up as a blank slate so I can feel free to spray myself as much as possible. All right, got my black Goyard because I am a basic bee at heart. <laughs> so let's head to the train. Thank you. 
cool. Um, I love when I meet with brands and the people that work for the brand are really, really passionate about it. Like you can really tell and it's so contagious and Taylor was fantastic. Such a great ambassador for the brand. She walked me through all the fragrances, shared with me the brand story. Uh, we also talked a lot about the hotel itself and the brand that they're building is so cool because it's so... Okay, I'm vlogging on 14th Street, which is not a good idea because it's so noisy here. But I was gonna say the brand that they're building is really cool because it's so multifaceted. You have the hotel, you've got fragrances, like personal, like fine fragrances, you've got candles. Um, there's a whole like interior design element to it where a lot of the parts uh, of the hotel you can actually bring home. So if you like the wallpapers, if you like the beds, if you like the pillows, those are all things that you can actually order. So it's a really interesting like multifaceted kind of brand. Obviously I'm a fragrance girly, that's kind of like the main attraction for me. Um, but it was just really cool to hear about uh, everything that they're doing with this brand. Okay, now I'm starving. Um, I am gonna take you along with me to one of my favorite spots. Uh, it's actually a little Cuban eatery, mostly Cuban. It's kind of like pan Latin, um, but I usually go here for breakfast. I haven't been here for lunch yet, so I'm excited to try some of their other dishes. So let's go. So lunch was delicious. Um, now I'm not much of a thrifter, but I'm going to head to the Housing Works thrift shop. I haven't been there in years, but it's always been one of the nicer looking thrift shops. So it was always very like nicely curated and sort of designed in there. Um, I haven't been there in a long time, like I mentioned, but I think I'll pop in. I thrifted quite a bit in college. I don't really, haven't really done it much in my adulthood, um, but yeah, let's expand our horizons a little. By the way, I just walked by this like sample sale for Marc Jacobs, and I'm pretty sure that that building used to be Lowman's which if you're a longtime New Yorker, you'll remember how legendary that department store was. You can get amazing deals on like designer stuff, like 90% off. Um, it was very much like a rite of passage <laughs> as a New Yorker to shop there. Um, yeah, one of the many long lost gems of the city. I think I've confirmed that I'm still not a thrifter. I just don't really have the patience. Uh, I don't really like, I shop just to be practical, but I don't really enjoy the process that much. So, and I feel like to be into thrifting, you really have to have that patience and that love for finding the deal. And I'm just like, too much work. <laughs> Okay, anybody else a Mr. Robot fan? This iconic mural is right here on 17th and 6th, and I'm glad that it's still here because I love this one. Okay, I know I just said that I am not a big shopper. Um, I'm usually kind of in and out. I think I'm gonna go and actually try on a few things. Uh, there's an Old Navy here, there's a J. Crew. They both have really great stuff lately. Um, I've been checking out a few pieces online, so let's see what they have actually in the store uh, out of the things that I like. decided to skip J. Crew because one try on is enough for a day. <laughs> I told you I'm not a big shopper. Um, also I kind of like the J. Crew store in Williamsburg so I think next time I go there I'm gonna do my little try on there. I am gonna walk up to 27th Street. There's actually a little known but completely free museum here in New York. Um, I've never been, I've heard good things about it so I'm gonna keep it a surprise until we get there. So let's check it out together.
Okay, it's a little shabby because we've got some scaffolding going on, but this is the museum at FIT. Uh, FIT stands for Fashion Institute of Technology. It's one of the top fashion schools here in the city, and they have a free museum, so let's go check it out. Okay, this side looks a little bit <laughs> more aesthetic. That exhibit was really cool. Um, it's like a very small museum, obviously, but um, this particular exhibit was about statement sleeves. And so it was really going through like all different kinds of statement sleeves throughout fashion. And one thing I really liked is that they would, um, for example, take one kind of sleeve and show how it was like interpreted like back in the 1800s versus like in our century. So it's really nice to see like that thread go throughout it. All right, so that's it from me today. Thank you so much for coming along with me to Chelsea today just for a little solo day. Um, this is the first long form vlog I've made in like a year. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been really uncomfortable vlogging in public <laughs> again because I haven't done it in like a year. I mean, obviously I'm making content, but it's been mostly like voiceover and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, having to work this muscle again of public embarrassment. <laughs> vlogging in public never gets less cringy. You just build up your tolerance of it. But thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this uh, kind of format, I may do more of these, like having you come along with me to different neighborhoods and around the city. Um, you know, not really like travel guides, but just more of a casual, this is what it's like to go here as a local kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if you like this format, let me know and leave me a comment and um, just say hi. Thanks for being here.